Hello, today I will show you how to install Valvlink Solo onto your computer. To begin, start up your installation media. It comes on a CD, a flash drive, or a digital download. I will be installing the software from a flash drive. I'm going to go ahead and start the software. Loads for a second. Okay, this is the first window that shows up. These are the different kinds of software that you can install onto your computer, but today we're just going to focus on Valvlink Solo. Go ahead and highlight that, and then hit Next. Accept the terms of the license agreement and hit Next. And here you can change the default folder of the installation files, but I'm just going to leave it in the Program Files folder. I'm going to hit Next. Confirm the installation by clicking Finish. This will take a couple minutes, so I'll just bring up the next window that pops up when it's done installing. Okay, you need a license to run Valve Link Solo software. So it comes in a hardware key or a digital copy. I will be using a hardware key today, so make sure your hardware key is plugged in. Click OK and now it will search for the hardware key. Okay, found that. So now just look over the feature list and make sure that everything looks appropriate. Mine looks okay. So I'm going to hit yes and then click next. Okay, now we're going to register the software to your name. I'm Sarah. I'll use that. The license wizard pulled up all of my information for me, so I won't be changing any of that, but you might have to. So click Next when you're done. And now it's going to verify your license. Okay, now that's done, so click Finish. This is just a list of the software updates and information. You can take a moment, pause the video, and read that if you like, but I'm not going to go over that today. So I'm going to click Next, and now go ahead and restart your computer. By clicking Yes and then Finish, your computer will automatically restart. So when that's done, we'll keep going. Okay, now Valvling Solo should have successfully installed onto your computer. Click the Start menu, and if a shortcut did not pop up for you, go ahead and click All Programs, and then Valvlink, and then Valvlink again. And this will start the software. Okay, now we're going to log in. The default username and password is manager and the password is falcon. And that's F A L C O N. Manager is a temporary username. You do not want to use this to sign in after the software has been set up. Okay, now that that's all logged in, this is the first window that pops up, but we're going to ignore the preferences window at the moment. Click okay. Go up to customize valve link and open security groups. Now we're going to add different groups here with different privileges. I'm just going to make an engineering group. I'm going to click OK. Now the group has been created. I'm going to give them all of the user privileges and rights to the software. So that anyone that is in the engineering group has all access to the software. We're going to go back up to customize valve link and then go to users this time. We're going to add a user named Jordan. You can name them whatever you want. I'm going to give Jordan a password here. And I'm going to add Jordan to the engineering group. So Jordan will have all rights that the engineering group has. So go to the security groups, drop down, engineering. Clicking OK adds Jordan to the engineering group. So now we're going to log out as manager and log back in as Jordan. Remember, the manager user does not have full rights to the software and you will need to log in as the users you create later to get those privileges. We're logging back in as Jordan now. And now we're going to add a heart modem. The field bus is default by default there, so we're just going to ignore that for now. If you want, you can edit the properties later. We're just going to hit add and then heart modem. Okay, I don't have one plugged in at the moment, but here's where you can edit to the heart modem properties. I'm going to click OK, and that adds a heart modem to the device list. 
By clicking OK, it shows up on the side menu. OK, that is it for installation and setup of Valve Link Solo.